This is Keith Helwig from Cops Corrections Videos. If you like my videos, please hit the red subscribe button. Today is the first time in 10 years that I haven't been able to go out to Washington, D.C. on Police Memorial Day and spend the day with 30,000 other officers commemorating and remembering the deaths of those who died in the line of duty. As I sit in my patrol car today, I'm thinking about people that I knew or people from my community that have given their lives in the line of duty. I think of Craig Burkholz. Craig was a, a young war veteran who was assassinated by a coward as he responded to a domestic abuse situation. I think of Officer Dale Tenhagen who was shot in the back of the head by a 16-year-old boy during a traffic stop. It was an intentional setup. They made sure they were driving with their lights off so that Officer Tenhaken would pull them over. And when he did, one of them snuck up behind him and shot him in the back of the head. I think of Deputy Bruce Williams. Deputy Bruce Williams, again, was assassinated by a coward with, a, with an assault rifle when he responded to a domestic situation. I was about five miles away working the night that happened. And believe me, it's a night that I never want to relive. It's a night that I will never forget. There are so many officers that have died in the line of duty that I've been associated with, or that I've known through training or through work that I can't even begin to name them all. I think of a young man I went to school with. His name was Thomas Bain. Tom was a year ahead of me in high school and he is considered the only line of death duty from the Wisconsin Department of Corrections. Now, Thomas wasn't murdered. Tom was a victim of a fatality in an auto accident while he was on duty. His name is on the memorial wall and his name deserves to be on the memorial wall. There are so many other names that I'm forgetting or that I just don't think about. But then again, with over 20,000 names on the memorial wall, there's no way that I'd be able to say each individual name and honor them the way they deserve to be honored. So today, I'm remembering the fallen officers, correctional officers, police officers, uh, from federal government to local municipalities, to Indian territories, to all law enforcement jurisdictions throughout the country and our territories. People have given their lives. They've given their lives to protect others. They've given their lives so that people can sleep peacefully at night. So whether you're a police officer, whether you're the spouse of a police officer, or a correctional officer, the spouse of a correctional officer, remember those who've died. Remember those who've given their final measure in order to keep our society a safe society and a peaceful society. Once again, this is Keith Helwig from Cops Corrections Videos. Until next time, stay safe and watch your back.